unmute, switch from studio mode, and hope that this is all working properly. <laughs> and hello, bearded. Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. I'm just doing a short test stream today to uh, test out a couple of things. One, I wanted to test out this VC thing. It had an update and I wanted to try it out. The uh, wrong button. It has a problem with calibrating. But that's okay. We will just have to go with it for now. After all, this is just a test. So also test to see if that this and Starfield can run together at the same time. I may switch different avatar programs. Should I lose my crown at some point if this one doesn't run well? Uh, I already don't like the the fact that the mouth animations are only from the microphone so it's not very accurate <laughs> like I could open my mouth like ah see and my mouth was still open but it was closed on there see see okay I'm also playing around with the uh, having the screen as my, my monitor uh, be the lighting source for my avatar so we're going to see how that works too. Probably won't work too well since I can't have the game full screened because then it won't show up well on stream. It'll be like black bars all over the place. But I've already been playing this game for three days. A total of three days worth of playtime. Not that I've had it for three days. I've had it for longer than three days. But if you add up all the time that I've been playing, it adds up to three days. So yeah, I've kind of been playing this on and off. Look at some Kiwis here, your nuggets. <laughs> uh, uh, Kiwi nuggets don't sound appetizing though. Neither do turkey nuggets or anything other than, than chicken. I don't think any other bird makes a good nugget. But let's get into this. Which I just realized you gotta love when you forget to switch your audio to your headphones and you're wondering why you can't hear anything. Speaking of hearing things, do y'all hear everything okay? Okay. All right, now I hear things. That didn't look normal. Definitely wasn't a normal thing. The program I'm using lets you use like screen brightness, but hold on. I want to see if it lets me just make it so that that is just the uh, game and not like my whole whole screen. So give me one moment. Nope, it's just des desktop color based lighting. All right. Here you good, but. You but spot. Alright, so I've just been kidnapped by the UC. Uh, and they're forcing me to do missions for them. And the last time I played this, I had no way of getting to my ship. Like, I could see this. My ship is there. It's telling me to go to my ship. But this door will not open. 
there's no way to open the door. And I've walked in like a full circle. I've talked to everybody. Just shut up and do as you're told. What was I told, dude? Because cause you, you're not helping. You just had me come up the elevator and come up here. And then, and then nothing. Ikande's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Level two. So, is this like up these stairs? Is there somebody up here I'm supposed to be talking to? That door's locked. I need the computer to open that door. That door, not doing much either. And this is person. Commander Ikande is the heart and soul of UC Sysdev. I'd follow him to the ends of the galaxy. Are, are, are you the commander? Go on. I would. You can always come back and shot later. Nobody here is going anywhere. Are, are, are you who I need to talk to? No. Y'all told me to come up here. This is the interrogation room. Like, I'm so supposed to, no one's supposed to come back here. Y'all already interrogated me. And I can already see that my avatar is like stuck. Luckily, the game is going perfectly fine. Luckily, the game took priority, but. Like, there's this computer here. All it does is tell me what's docked there or not docked there. So maybe, maybe I gotta go up one level. Where's the... And it's a weird elevator because unlike the other elevators in the rest of the game, where you push the button and, you, and, and it tells, lets you select what floor you go to. Hello. This... Hello? Sister. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I, I can open this door. Was this where I was supposed to be going? Sometimes we'll take the long range fighters out for grab jump and patrol high traffic orbitals for fleet. Are you supposed to be talking to? Ah, there you are. Okay. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdev's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. Uh -huh. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Get me in a room with them and I'll talk them into anything. I assume you already had a plan. It takes more than finesse to catch the attentions of a pirate. I prefer a more direct approach. I assume you've chosen me because I'm expendable. I wanted to get, get up my, my uh, Good. persuasion. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. What? It doesn't sound like well, an ironclad it's plan. The best we've got. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. All right, hold on real quick. I need to close some stuff. Try to speed, get my avatar back up to speed.
Oh yeah, I need to turn off the hand tracking because the hand tracking is not accurate anyway, and that thing that uses more processing power. Okay, we should be good now. Hopefully, we're about to find out. Yeah, why bother getting Let's out? just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. This sounds like Same a personal time, vendetta. We can use the evidence dude. to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Yeah, that's a lot to absorb. We move quick around here. Better get used to it. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Yeah, what if I get in over my head? You gonna come save me? Then you better learn to swim. Because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. And watch your back. You say this, but you literally told me that if I didn't do it, I go to prison forever. Whatever. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. Uh huh. As an undercover operative for UC Sister. You'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Hmm. Yeah, what do you mean stray the too Crimson far? The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing. Money. All of their morals and social vices fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. So I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? Look here, look here. I, I'm a space cowboy. I, I know what I'm doing. Hold on, trying to get my... I can't make any promises. I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. What happens? Yeah, what happens if I get arrested on the For your own safety. Nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the Vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, Completely on your own. Wasn't that lovely? As you were. Excuse me. Pardon. Wait, who's the person who's supposed to brief me, though? Just left from over here? Hey. It's not you. you. Definitely not you. Okay, let me hope that the dots point to the right start this time. That's all. Yes. What? Yes. I'm stuck with Samantha the whole way. <sighs> I want Barry back. S still is not pointing to the right spot. Cause I still can't get through this door. So I need to find where this person is. Am I not following the right quest? 
I'm not. That's why. There we go. Now we know where we're going. So Bearded, how have you been? How was your day? How was your week? How was your month? How was your yes. uh, 2024 so far? I thought I was a person I needed to talk to. Okay, hello. Move. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? No. Uh, what if I can't find I'd anything? I scour every inch of wherever the Crimson Fleet sends you. Otherwise, you're wasting our time and risking your neck for nothing. Criminals are sloppy. Look hard enough, and I'm certain you'll stumble across their mess. So you want me to steal from thieves? Rationalize it however you like. But that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Yeah, this thing is not... All right. Let's go do that. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Yeah. I'm here because I have no choice. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. Yes. I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. Okay. As compensation for your efforts. Okay, so I'm getting paid. That's the only way I operate. Yes, yes. Hmm? Yes. Commander Akande mentioned that when he proposed the idea. Lucky you. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Saoirse Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Right. We'll be here if you need us. Pardon. Right, now I can go back to my ship. Hello. Alright, before we continue, uh, it's clear that this program is not working. Let me, let me, let me, let me test something else because uh, maybe doing this is messing with it enough that it there we go uh, there we go so we'll see if turning that off helps it does not. It inst instantly went back to stutter. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to test out another different program. Let's go with just VC face by itself. I'm going to lose my crown, sadly. But Why do I want with the eye? Why are the eyes not blinking? Uh, 
Ah, my eyeballs. I did something weird, sorry. All right, I'm going to this. Wait, is this the one where when I change the window size, it changes that? No, good. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Yeah, I just edited my avatar today. Uh, and I didn't get the chance to put the crown on his head because that might cause me to open up on the uh, Unreal. Is it Unreal or Unity? One of the, I think it's Unity. And then do it all that and adding all of that stuff. It, it's it's a headache. It's a lot to do. A lot of stuff that I don't want to do. There we go. I just realized that that wasn't connected either, so. Go. So let's see how well this one runs. It's definitely running better. Not, not perfect, but definitely going better. Now the door's open and I can go to my ship. Yay! Sorry, I just forgot something. All right, undock. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to move. Oops, I didn't mean to do that either. My chair keeps dropping down. And it does it slowly, like while I'm sitting in it. No. Thank you. You're clear to land. Oh. Enjoy your stay at Sidonia. Okay. Uh, I did not e expect that. Where did this dude hide the stuff that I was able to, like, just walk away with it? <laughs> he said he already put it on my ship so well real quick I want to do something real quick uh, because I didn't I want to give a shout out to Bearded In the vast cosmos of Twitch, Fear the Bearded Ginger is a guardian of the Chat Galaxy, wielding their mod, ha mod sword with honor for the mighty Kiwi. No streams to, to log in their star diary, but their presence is felt across the streaming universe like a silent protector in the nebula of kindness. May the mod be with you. There you go. I am going to go into here.
I'm kinda upset I can't use the controller one. The one with the controller. That one's more fun to use. If I can find a way to get it to run s smooth while playing stuff like this, then I'd use it. But I'm not turning down the graphics so bad. Oh, I just got money for no reason? Word. You're not who I'm looking for. Do your part to keep Sidonia graffiti free. Nope, I'm putting those 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 space frogs all over the place. Okay. This is not where I'm supposed to be. You look hurt. Might want to help. Trade authority? Oh yeah, that's why she's supposed to work for the trade authority. Hey you, I got some stuff for you. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Uh, this. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? The trade authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. What? If you can't handle it, point me to someone who can. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. <laughs> you must be new at this game, love, so I'm going to let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged. Even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. Fine. Here's a thousand bucks. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. What just happened? Well, well. Oh, there she goes. She suddenly <laughs> remembers everything. Her voice is nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. What can I help you with? All right, now we gotta go find some drunk dude. Got it. I think I went the wrong way. There's the door. There's the broken spear. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. But don't freeze right now. I want to see who this person was. You? <laughs> hey, good to see you again. Still think there might be room for me on your crew? Nah. No, not right now. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Plenty of work left to do in the solar system. Give me a shout if anything changes. I don't remember saving you though, but you're welcome. I was hoping you would give me some more. I sure hope this hearing loss is impermanent. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Oh yeah? Well, I don't know who the hell you are. So what makes you think I'm going to help you out? What? That was food. Yeah, here's a hey, sample. why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Hey, uh, the other one yellow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But 
you're going to have to do something for us first. Who's we and us? I thought we were dealing with you. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, uh -huh. I'm your guy. All right, what, what, what do you want me to do? Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Sure, now please. listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Can you repeat Probably that? spent it all on booze, <laughs> not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Look, 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 look here. Dude owes you money. I'm about to get, make you more money than whatever he owes you. Yeah, how loud do you want to do here? Write you an instruction manual? Yes. You can do this loud, you can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Hey, right, can I just pay the dude and not have to deal with this? Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place. I mean, you all look miserable, uh, so, uh... Just, just say. I've warmed up to Mars since I came uh, I mean, here. These are the restrooms, so this is not the right way. Jeez. You haven't had a day off in three years and you vote the policy for it. I would have quit. <laughs> I would have quit after year one. Shoot, I would have quit after month one. It doesn't tell me I can't have a day off in three years. Hey, ain't no job worth all that. So I guess in the future when you're in space, there's no more uh uh workers' rights. Hey. Something I can help you with? Yes. I'm here to bust your kneecaps. Ah, oh, that's not an option. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? Yeah, Adler is serious about this debt, so I suggest you pay quickly. Adler, you said? Nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in uh -huh. the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. <sighs> this has been fun. So, whatever. Yeah, I'll go back into how do you say that? Adla, uh, Adla, Adla. Oh, wait, you mean that Adla? No, yeah. the other one. Sorry, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Demos cuts our next profit share check. 
<laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Yeah, I don't think Arda is going to be satisfied with that option. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? He can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. 3,000? Yeah, why are you hurting so bad for credits? I'm a miner for Damas. It's not what I was hoping for out of life. But here I am. Yeah. It's a lousy company. It pays me a salary. But I depend on the profit sharing bonuses to keep food on the table for my family. Uh, Scott, I just had to see if my uh, package has been delivered yet. Or if they pushed it back again. It is not here yet. But at least they didn't push it back. Alright. Uh, Arthur thinks she spent the money on booze. Hey, hey, hey. Now wait a second. Just because things are tough. And I might be spending my afternoons at the Spear. It doesn't mean I don't care about my family. Adler doesn't get to judge me. No, he's just a low-life pirate who thinks he can push everyone around. Hmm, so should I spare... Should I just... You know what? Look, dude. I'll go ahead and pay your debt for you. Just don't borrow any more money from Alder. Holy crap. Really? Y you do that for me? Wow. Uh, I don't even know w what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I, I promise. Okay. Let me go over to Adler. Wait. Good. I think I'm going to go this Oh, I could just go up that way. Okay. Maybe it took the long way to get down here. There was I could have just came out right here at the person. Oh, that goes down. I need to go up. There we go. Not the trader, though. He's up here. What's up? Have something for me? Here you go. There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? He got the message. Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my uh, associates? Yeah, if you think they can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Oh, good. I got a whole bunch of money for all that mess. Even though a third of it I had to spend. Pretty much run the lower level here. 
I uh, probably shouldn't walk around dressed like dressed like the, uh, like the police now. So I'm gonna go pick an outfit to wear. This is my game loads. It's never taken this long to load before. It's on an SSD. Uh, NVMe SSD. At that. Real quick. I want to go here. Oh, I gotta go go with my ship to do that then. Okay. Because all my clothes is on the ship. Because clothes weighs. Wait. something. Why am I half dead? I forgot to share this picture on the Llama Mama server. Uh, I was flying my ship one time and Vasco was like outside the ship sitting on the nose. It was it was hilarious. I just still not let me assign people to the ship. Which is weird. And I did a mission and it just would not allow me to assign people after doing it. I'm, I'm quite sure something's broken now. Alright. There's Vasco. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. I have to go re-ask people to be part of the crew? What kind of mess is that? So now if I go over here. Crew. Oh, you're still not there. That's, that's weird. I can use you on my Captain, crew. I will proceed to my assigned post. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. He's never been inside the ship before. I think I might have broken something. See something. I'll go to a different ship real quick. No, that doesn't do anything. Alright. Yeah, I might have broke the game. <laughs> Alright, so... What kind of outfit should I wear if I'm going to go join some Crimson Fleet people? So want to compare it to what I'm already wearing. Mm. 
nightwear. Now I'm not going to run around space in my pajamas. This increases my carrying capacity though. So it's this one. It also increases the uh, corrosiveness, corrosive resistance. I do like the look of that. Did I have another hat? Uh, I thought I had like a trucker's hat or something. This raises my carrying capacity. I put on a trucker outfit. And that hat. And just put these in there for now. And equip the hat. That. Put that back too. That that looks good. Wait, do I have any? Oh, you know what? Take all the ammo. Do I have, do I have med kits, med packs in here? I have one. Okay. Grab the shotgun. I should probably go sell some of these guns. What I might do is any gun that doesn't have a color to it, I'll sell it. Unless it sets things on fire. That's kind of my thing right now. <laughs> also, to make sure I'm not too heavy over there. Okay. All right. I want to. Oh, you know what? I should probably always be saving. Always be saving. Just my neck a little bit. And take off. Lifting off now. Alright, let's just share it offline. If they're not be offline, we'll get this space. This is a little chatter, and it does sound like like the Peanuts teacher.
Six shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Uh huh. Adler said that. I didn't know he cared. Now I forgot it already. Before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. I'm not. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. Oh, snap. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Rigana. Uh -huh. Jumping into Enceladus's that ship you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. Okay. Yeah, why not hunt him down yourself? I need you to learn what'll happen if you decide to turn your back on the fleet. Consider it your glimpse into a possible unfortunate future. Uh huh. Now. So you better pay close attention. I, I, I think about that. What options do I have to complete this job? Kill Rake. That's your only option. If you want my advice, there's only one way to guarantee he dies turn the Ragana into space junk. Only way to be sure. Wait, you want me to blow up a medical ship? All right, we're gonna go through this. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished, and don't keep me waiting for long. I will. Bye. Rake used to run with the fleet. Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. Back then, he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner, too. Brought in a ton of credits. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody, I mean, nobody, runs away from the fleet. Is it me? Or does this game, do the, do the, like, Phone voice actors seem to have better dialogue and acting than the NPCs you're face to face with. Or maybe it's just because you can't see their face. I want you to take this dude, uh, Austin Rake, and just push him out the airlock. Ooh, ooh, that was accidental. Hold on, no, we hold on. Ooh, that was totally accidental. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Uh, I was trying to stop moving because I was like flying straight into dude.
Alright. This is going to reselect the same thing. Take my hands off the triggers. <laughs> Okay, this time I didn't just shoot the shit out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Docking cycle complete. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's try it. Board. Let's do that, and I'll look at it later. Alright, open the door. I tried not to shoot anybody on accident. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. Yeah. That is not something I am going to do. Not until you reveal your intention. Excuse you? As far as you are concerned, I am Austin Rake. You want him? You're going to have to kill me. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Look here. Yeah, the fleet wants Frank dead, but I want to resolve this without violence. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. Okay. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Well, the fleet does want him dead. Yeah. First you offer peaceful solution, and now you make threats. It's not a threat. I'm not sure I trust you at all. Yeah, I'm trying to find a you way really to spare all. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? Oh my goodness. And you do not seem to care either. Which makes me that just reset the dialogue to save him. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that was gonna happen. We can strike his name from manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? No. It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Okay. I, I guess that works. Y'all got to live today. I'm undercover anyway. Fresh normalizing. Undocking complete. Travel back to Jupiter to Jupe Jupe. I 
Wait, where, where is this person? Back here. Hey, you're not. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stop moving. Huh? that far Okay. I had it under control. No, you didn't. But it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Lie. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. Mm -hmm. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but... Job done. That's right. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? You look clear, but you, you, you're gonna be dead. Okay. Don't keep me waiting long. I will. I'm gonna take my sweet old time. Probably gonna stream for like another thirty minutes. Uh -huh. Take course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You're clear to land. One day I'm gonna see what happens if while they're scanning, I just leave. <laughs> I don't. I don't even wait for them to finish. I just uh, bye.
I thought I had to go do the proof thing. Okay. Or was sending the having the dude sit back actually proof? Ooh. Plot twist. All right. Let's cycle that airlock and get him off. Wants to see you. Follow me. I do it. Ah, I, I hit the cable. I have on my friend. You know, you were really rude the first time we met. Now you've been all night. A message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Uh, any point trying to get Rick to give up information? That's something we're looking into. But it doesn't seem like he knows much. He might be better served as bait. For now, we'll keep him in the brig. Perhaps you could pay him a visit there sometime. I'm sure he'd be pleased to see you. Well, I'm That's glad a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I'll do my part to make certain that doesn't happen, Commander. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack the neighbor ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. You sent them knowing they'd be outgunned. Ecliptic's going to remember that. Let them remember. We have no idea who actually hired them. I'd suggest you spend less time worrying about us and more time being concerned with the task at hand. On that right. part, how did things go with Neva? Were you able to join the fleet? It does seem like I passed the then test. It worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Yeah, everything's coming up. Now house. it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Okay. Alright, so everything's going according to plan. Yes. You pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals. So mm -hmm. don't let your guard down. Uh -huh. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. Don't forget you I'm ruthless too. With caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Mm. I was told to meet Neva at the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree. But it's important to know your enemy, and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now. 
especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. You were talking? Okay. Oh, she's, she's, she's stuck in there. <laughs> okay, dear. I'm not mad. We hunt piracy all across the galaxy. She still stuck? I think so because she's still not coming. Even dudes looking at her like, "You okay, man?" Well, you know what? Let her stay in the elevator. <laughs> How'd she even get stuck in the elevator? Separation complete. Ah, she's unstuck from the elevator. Alright. So next I gotta travel to the key. Okay, so I just have to find evidence while I'm there. That's, this is part of this. They separated it like it's two separate missions. Mm, I chose straight into their stuff. So, of course. Make it so. I think my next fight through I'm Must just a pi jump. pirate. I'm a doc right here. I wonder why docking goes into this black and white movie. Like it, love. Oh wait, before I do this, there was one more thing I needed to do. I don't need to know about Alda. I need to know about Delgo. He's 44. He's clever, shrewd, careful, and calculated. Originally hailing from Aquila City, Delgado fell into crime at a young age. Despite being born into wealth, his parents exiled him in hopes of correcting his behavior. Yet this only served to increase his criminal behavior, culminating in the theft of a cargo ship which he used it to initiate himself into the Crimson Fleet. Diego is a shrewd, clever leader who isn't prone to rash judgment. He keeps a tight rein on the Crimson Fleet, but he's given his pirates enough latitude to do what they do best. Let's see. Should I just keep the medical supplies? Luckily, they don't weigh anything. Alright, so real quick. So now I have the other shotgun, right? Yeah, that's that shotgun. And I have the pistol which has shotgun abilities. But it's out of bullets. So I want to equip it. 
And it's somehow more powerful than this shotgun. But it has no bullets. So. I'm in charge here, sir. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Oh. took you so long forget how to grab jump or something uh, yeah. what's that oh the thing disconnected from my uh, laptop for some reason that was real yeah llama I, it, was, it was a su that's why I said surprise <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't going to stream. Oh, well, I was going to, and then I, I woke up like really late. Then I was like, oh, I'll do it at four. Then I was working on stuff with my avatar, which is why I don't have a crown on. And then I was like, got a little bit of a headache. So I was like, I'll just do a short little stream. And then I got into this. This silence is really pissing me off. Look here, woman, chill out. Yeah, uh, I did some editing. I shortened the hair in the front a little bit so the eyes could be seen more. Uh, I, I changed the look of the eyes, the shape of the face. Uh, I fixed the, the teeth. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. And uh, I'm missing the crown because I didn't have time to go into the, th the other 3D program to put, put it on yet. Sometimes that doesn't work properly, so it takes a while to do it. <laughs> I might do it tomorrow. I, I don't work tomorrow. And uh, the original goal was to try to make it look older, I think. I don't know how well it worked. But yeah! <laughs> um, I was using a different program earlier. I'm, I'm pretty much just testing out the different programs to see... Uh, which one would run while playing this game. Uh, the one I was using, let me have the controller up. So it came with the little controller, so you can, the controller would move around and you see me pushing the buttons. But um, that thing slowed down to a crawl while playing this game. So that didn't work. But anyway, let me finish typing in what I was typing in real quick. Fingers aren't working. There we go. Gonna give Llama her shout out. Cause all of those who are lurking, if y'all haven't checked out, I've checked out the Llama Mama. Here's what you in for. You can beam up for cosmic giggles. For a cosmic giggle with the Llama Mama, the interstellar gesture <laughs> of truth. From Fortnite Frolics to Taco Tuesdays, they're the captain of laughs and good vibes. Engage in Friday funnies or join their space pirate adventures seeking treasure among the stars. May the force be with you as you navigate the, this nebula of no drama llama shenanigans. <laughs> Thank you for being for the, for the resub, the llama mama. Eight whole months. That's a lot of months. Eight of them. That's that's that's, that's almost twelve. <laughs> hey. Please, it'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rake getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. 
Not in credits, but in blood. Well, I'm sorry I kept Never you. Never apologize. Not if you want anyone in the fleet to respect you. And if they don't respect you, put a gun to their head and they'll get the message. But Will do. All that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? I have it. Why do audio keep doing it? This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. It used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Mm hmm. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Yeah, but the really pissed that the you see off that you're stationed here. <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Okay. Story time. Hmm, how delightful. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. Sarah, don't be rude to the to the, to the killer pirate people. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Ah, cute, huh? So, what this, so y'all have access to the super prison too? I'm, I'm confused. So, do they have to move the super prison? So, y'all have the key to the super prison? Is, is that the, 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 the supposed to be? Need to do that real quick. Make sure it didn't mess up anything over here, and it did. Uh. Hold on, I had to change something real quick. Which means that I have to now take this and make it just a little, little bit bigger. Put it over here. Okay. Okay. Thing is, when I change the screen, the the size of the window where that I'm using this on, it changes the size of it on my stream, and it messes everything up. <laughs> there we go. I just want to save all of my here in case I mess something up. Cause I already almost did earlier. Now. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. Okay. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. 
back to stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the keep. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Elutra. Anyway, welcome to the depot group, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just vining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah. Yes, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Okay. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Okay. Euro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. If it's On hard to right, find, you got I probably Bradley got from it. the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. Okay. You don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over Yay. Here, you've got the last Nova. How was your day to Lama Mama? Drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. What you do today? How was your right 2024 here, been so far? the most far? important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Wraith? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this Rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, What's the that? official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. Today was good. And since Neva so thoughtfully Jeremy? mentioned oh, it. Oh, that Jeremy. Yes. Cooked <laughs> <laughs> he had a of chicken soup. No, it was delicious. That sounds good. Word, My mom slow fact, cooked some I chicken, idea of a security measure to and I made some rice to go with it. I wasn't paying attention to nothing this man said. How is a bomb in your chest and power? I see the bomb as a symbol of my importance. And it's a constant reminder to everyone of the sacrifice I was willing to make. The freedom I've given up, the pain, it's not something that just anyone has the resolve to bear. He sees that bomb as a badge of honor. I see it as a symbol of compliance. Delgado is a harsh master. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. 
Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Essentially, but I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. He holds mm -hmm. the trigger, but we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. Cool. It's why he's the boss. Of course. I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage, But Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Vujin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the no cyber runner. Uh huh. There, you're done. Okay. <laughs> All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Cool, where he at? Time to make those credits. A perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations Oops. with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a stream <sighs> of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using Ooh. the computers that surround the core. I'm sending those to the police. If Nava's chosen wisely, we certainly will. No, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. I wonder what happened to that Crimson Fleet guy right, that I decided not to. Stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. Is that the cool of the from last time that I spared when he attacked? Is that him? So, now that we are all here, I just have to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Better not disappoint, for you'll find yourself answering to me personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits, no one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends, fleet before family, fleet before yourself. Right. I'm already going to turn y'all over to police. It don't matter. I hope that doesn't include sleep before breakfast. Because I <laughs> to sleep late. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this Rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I am impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Great day. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. 
Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Grix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got Ooh. fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy Excuse is me. still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Hmm. Yeah, what's this code? I'm more. Through I'm, a bit I'm of luck excited. and a hell of a lot of cash, Neva was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for, well, since Griggs left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. So we're doing a prison break in because the prison broke out broke things okay I guess that makes sense looks like the only option to listen to him talk about fleet, it more. he left a message talking about a major score one that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems somewhere down the line they started calling it Crixus legacy and everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crick's left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Okay. When we get our hands on Quix's <laughs> legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. Mm -hmm. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Yeah, won't y'all just be a larger forget target? Forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Grix's legacy. I guess it'd be unstoppable. Exactly. <laughs> now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. Finally. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Why doesn't he have a ship? Y'all recruited a dude with no ship? Sounds like a pretty dumb idea. How did I even get up here in the first place? This is the room. I, I, I don't know how to get through this place. That's also so much room. Open the door. This this does not help. Wait, 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 what's this? It looks useful. Much less sinister. 
There was a firefight on the wheel when they tried to bring us in. We hold up, but you see security unleashed hell. The damage they caused was catastrophic. We only surrendered so we wouldn't die when the station exploded. Well, the UZ says you set demolition charges to try and cover your tracks and make your escape. That's their story. You'll have to go with your gut on what you think really happened. Anyway, they took us in and tossed us into the lock. That lovely resort they opened on Suvorov. And you were imprisoned there for how long? Well, it was supposed to be for life, Gail. <laughs> but I ended up serving two years before I decided I'd had enough. Mm. Is there any particular reason that you started the riots that eventually led to the worst prison break in United Colonies history? Because he wanted to not be yes. in prison? I'm quite proud of that, actually. I honestly didn't think it would go as well as it did. As for the reason, well, it's simple. The UC were treating us like animals. The conditions in the lock were ridiculously bad and no one cared. That's why they stuck us on that ice ball in the first place. Out of sight, out of mind. Your escape caused the death I didn't know this was this long. that were stationed at the lock. Some would brand that as a bit dismissive for what you're describing as a protest. If you were simply advocating for your fellow inmates, why didn't you just go through the proper channels? And what the hell was I supposed to do? Send a strongly worded letter to my duly appointed representative? Wake up. The UC only responds to actions, not words. In my mind, there was no other choice. You know what? L let's move past my time at the lock so we can get to the point of this goddamned interview. And this is part four. So where is part one through three? Ah, uh, that looks... Uh, it looks like I don't want it. So now, those doors are not open. Elevator. Just look around for stuff. Cause now I need I I I need part one through three, and with my luck. I like on like either blow this place up or end up not being able to come back once I finish my quest. Cause like I said, I'm not joining the Crimson Fleet. No, that's not happening. I'm only doing this because it's, it's my job right now. Requires a key. Okay. This one. Nope, no more of those things there. It's another room. Oh, there's a, there's a slate. The Marzana par Partial Project Data. Protected by Seth Encryption. Authorized access only. Alright. Well, we have that. Hopefully that will be considered... No. No. Ev evidence, I think is what I'm probably looking for. Of them doing something bad. This is like the craziest thing. It's like this dude is trying to get me to bring back evidence because his bosses don't think that fighting a bunch of space pirates is worth the time. 
But what do I need evidence of? The the criminals. <laughs> He's like saying, yeah, we got these bank robbers, but we need, like... Hey, hey, hey I'm trying to get through here. Is there, like, proof that this, these people are robbing, are robbing banks? They, they, they've been on video. They, you know, they, they, you, you, you can see them robbing banks. Yeah, but we need, like, concrete proof that they're robbing banks. That says part seven. These things are long. I don't know. Oh, I can close Good. it and keep going. I didn't know that. Okay. When is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Cricks need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell can you ever understand? <gasps> so wait. Say that again. That's the evidence. You think I'm Stop playing games. We both know your real name is Lionel Soto. And you know why I'm here. Who are you? Fleet? Ecliptic? An independent? I've spent two long years and every credit I had looking for you. Just so I could look you in the eye before I pulled the trigger. Hey, what's with the gun? There must be some mistake. I honestly don't know who you are. Of course you don't know who I am. You're never concerned with the death you leave in your wake. Your pursuit of greed. You killed my husband, you son of a bitch! Oh, now snap. I'm gonna kill you! Ah, such a terrible shame. All that time and money she wasted. Ah, well. Better get rid of the body. She didn't even manage to kill the man? What? You went through all that, lady, and, and it, it, you let him shoot first. Where That's did your stellarized infamy begin? In the streets of New Atlantis. Been no hearing some stuff no about the mantis being back. If I the homeless punk kid robbing whoever he could for the credits. Were these violent crimes? Murders? I'm a bit offended you even asked that question, Gail. Sure, a few people here and there walked away with injuries, but I'm not some kind of butcher. That doesn't sound as heartless as your reputation would imply. Well, like I said, I was just a kid. Were you ever caught by the authorities in New Atlantis? Oops. Where did I just go? I don't know, I'm just trying to find all these, 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 these recording things. Because like I said, I'm probably not coming back here after I leave. Because, because I'm going to the popo. These things are long. I'm just collecting them. I'll listen to them another day when I get all of them in order. After I busted out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. I used to work for I had the key. A few UC ships and a couple dozen ex cons at my side. But I needed more. Let me see if my packets have showed up yet. Amazon, why is my stuff? Oh, it's it's on its way. Seven stops away for that one. What's about the other one? 
Wish they could have just delivered together. Oh, seven stops away for that one too. But try not to pick any fights while we're here. What? You don't like the idea of me punching somebody in the face? You came with credits. Let's see what she <laughs> has. I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. I didn't even look at what. Oh, wait, I could do that. Uh, hit the LB button. Just have to be very careful not to hit the cell button. Where is it? There it is. It uses. 45 calibers. Okay. I don't need to buy weapons from you. I need to buy ammo. Oh. I was in the wrong thing. There we go. You don't have any. Why? What is that? I haven't seen that before. It looks awesome. What kind of space suits y'all brought out here? Ooh, they ugly. Oh my goodness, really? The A button went hit, got hit twice, and so it bought whatever was on top. Does this space undersuit? Is underwear for space? Because I'm going to sell it back, whatever it was. Uh, it was this. Oh, I see what it is now. Can you, can you zoom in? Yeah. It's some face, metal face stuff. So I don't want. So. Take that back. Oh, I have a pirate suit now. I, when, when, when did I get that? I don't even know. Come back and see me sometime. Let me put it on, because I didn't know I had it. Play the role, you know? Gotta look the part. I was hoping she would have sold the tablet right, to me. That's what I was quick. looking for. I've got schematics to organize. So there I am. You see security on my tail. And I grab you, I'm just joking. That, that's what they sitting back here talk about? This looks like a place where secret stuff will be hidden. Every captain here is armed. Their stripes. Bleeding for the fleet. Are you looking to start I guess not. Or oh, they just put me back in this place, okay. You see you'll never crush the fleet. I don't think I'm gonna find them all. So I'm just gonna go. This is also where I'm gonna stop because my head is getting a little more bothering me. Uh, so let me see who I can raid into real quick. I had an idea of who to raid into, but I wanna just make sure they're still streaming.
we are going to go and say hi to Wait, what is he playing? Is this a mailman game? I think it is. Alright, we're gonna go play I mean not play. Gonna go watch a uh, really cool streamer. His name is a uh, Weeble Spleen. He's awesome. If you haven't uh, had a chance, to, if you if you don't know about Weeble Spleen, let me let me do this first. I'm sure I gotta resize him. Oh no, he's fine. Okay. If you don't know about Weeble Spleen, let me. Shout him out first. That way, if the stream doesn't take you, uh, y'all will already have it to go. But We Will Split is an awesome retro. He play, usually plays a lot of retro games. Sometimes I play new games too. Um, one of the games he's playing right now is called Lake. It's it's not old, but it's not new either. <laughs> it's uh, and I think he's supposed to like play as a mailman or something. I don't know. But for those who don't know about We Will Spring, that had to spell wrong. We would have been raiding into some weirdo. Yes. Okay. So. Engage Weevil Spleen Stream Summary with hair defying gravity like a super saiyan. They've been on a quest for side quest supremacy and morphing into Power Rangers fandom. Their mission to unite 450 followers before the Earth completes its orbit around the festive star. Ziggy's in game saga continues while lethal alliances form in virtual galaxies far, far away. May the Force be with them on their epic journey. And Ziggy is actually the, uh, the cat who sometimes makes an appearance on his stream. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy it. And I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your week. I'll be back Saturday is my next stream. Tomorrow is iffy, but Saturday, definitely, uh, probably around 2 to play some, uh, Sea of Stars. That's right, Sea of Stars is coming back, yay! So, yeah. Hey, kitty man! Saw you coming in while I'm raiding out. But I hope you enjoy your day. And, bye!